just a 15 minutes of the rugby game to prove that what is this that the white people are thinking of black people? Only 15 minutes of their rugby game. That's how they treat us. 15 minutes. It's impossible in a country like South Africa, where 350 years of colonialism and apartheid, to give you any guarantee that racial incidents won't occur. We find ourselves in a situation whereby uh, the project of reconciliation has completely collapsed at the University of the Free State. You see things like this on TV and you just don't think of the reality of it. And it was just violent and it wasn't a situation I wanted to be in. If there was really so much racial tension, we would have seen this every other day. Okay, And we don't see that every other day. Having said that, there are still unresolved issues. And then when we started singing, white kids and their parents came to the field, all of them in large numbers, and then they started, they started beating us up. We went inside um, the rugby field and then we started singing. While we were singing, the crowd then started booing at us. And then within a, a split second, a crowd of men and, 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 and students started came, coming to the field and then they started beating all of us up. So we were very outnumbered by them. So people are being hit and you're going to continue again. Wow, how civilized of you. Clearly. Thank you. That's very civilized of you to leave. That is not a compliment. My civilization. I don't know. You can go to the prof. And if you have a chair. So this was a protest that had already started last week. So it was a continuation of the protest. What happened here was the university had closed the gates for workers to access the university and deactivated um, the access cards of the workers. Now, of course, the workers were there for the entire day. The students got angry. The university um, instigated a court interdict against the students and the workers. And mind you, there was no threat of danger to the university or any person who is um, in the university. So we drafted a letter of demand to the university requesting for them to hear the workers, bring the workers to a table of negotiations and continue negotiating with the workers. And they have refused. We were told by Professor Jonathan Janssen, who is the Vice-Chancellor of the University, that he has too much commitments um, for the day. 
and we did not have his diary, so we do not know how busy he was. Whilst we know exactly that he was going to attend the rugby match, and what we did was to march peacefully to the rugby match, we got into the field and we stood as a collective and sang without um, insulting anyone. And whilst we were singing, the, the white students who were sitting on the podium, the white students who were sitting at the stands came with their parents and started assaulting at the people who were protesting. They started assaulting at the students and the workers. Okay. We had situations where your black workers, black old ladies who were lying on the floor were being kicked like dogs, like white African students and their parents. Workers who have been suffering for more than 20 years, some of them, they continue to suffer under poor working conditions. Okay. They continue to suffer under poor salaries, slave salaries. And the university takes priority over rugby as okay. opposed to the um, um, agenda of the workers, okay. which is a legitimate one. The University of the Free State's Vice Chancellor was also in attendance at this game. Given the fact that transformation has been a, such a big issue for UFF, do you think it was a good call for the game to continue, especially given that the tensions that had arisen at the time had not been fully addressed? Well, the game was continued um, only about an hour after it was stopped, and it was continued after the the, um, the, the situation was assessed very um, uh, properly. And Jansen was watching the time we were moved in, and we didn't even fight these people who were singing. And my friend was busy talking with these white boys, and they wanted to fight him. He said, no, don't fight these people. We are South Africans. And there's a video for that day. We are South Africans. You can't fight our fellows. We are fighting the system. And I move him. Immediately I move him, they pull my dread and drag me down. You know that you've got a couple of injuries. I see one on your eye as well. Yes, I also injured here in my eye here. Yeah. I was beating up those people yeah, yesterday yeah, in the yeah. field there. And Professor Janssen was watching, he was there at the, at the game. He was watching that game. We want Professor Janssen to leave this institution, pack his bag and go back to Cape Town, his Cape Flag, because Professor Janssen is a thug. It has become more than just a protest for workers, but also a protest to end racism at the UFS, to end racial division at the UFS, and we are not politetic about it. These are the statutes that give white people a sense that they are still superior because they represent an oppressive past, and we cannot allow that. It is time for us to change this institution, it is time for us to decolonize this institution, and we can never be apologetic about it. Professor Janssen must step down as the rector of the university. the institution. We need to change the institution for generations to come. The university is a historically Africana university and you still find up until this day policies that continue to be divisive. Responses from the memorandum that we received uh, on the 24th of February at 8 o'clock in the evening. This, these are the uh, responses. Number one, the de demand for removal of the rector will be taken on an engine basis to the bodies that make decisions. Starting with, starting with the Senate, Institutional Forum and the Council on which structures the students are all represented. Yeah. 
The Shimla Park incident is already being investigated on an independent basis and charges will be brought against students and any other actors. The students are represented on council and senate where uh, the concerns are heard and these bodies will also uh, be ab available be, uh, beyond formal scheduled meetings to attend to student needs. What I'm mostly concerned with is time frames because mm. we want uh, Jonathan Johnson to, 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 to go and we also want want the council and the senate to, 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 to avail itself to account in our student parliament. Please, please take us serious. As we speak, the residence placements are biased. The placement policy says 50-50 placement policy at the University of State. But 80% of white students are being admitted. We are being mocked here. First of all, it seems as if Prof. Janssen doesn't see what is going to happen in this university. How is he uh, want us to go in one class with white students who have moved us in the, in the top? How are we supposed It's obvious that these people, they are not taking us serious. The white students assaulted us at the field. No security was called on them. No measure take were, were taken against them. We are very saddened by the way that the University of the Free State continues to perpetuate white privilege and white supremacy. cops started hitting us and dispersed everybody and now they're chasing everybody. Apparently we have a court interdict uh, against these protests. So there was this guy who was walking to race and then they started assaulting him, throwing him around. The other one, they started pushing him and then they took him to the police van. This other one was coming from Mimosa going to race and then they started demanding um, receipts from him to show that he comes from Mimosa. He was also pushed and dragged to the, um, to the, um, to the police van. As I walked down again, there was another guy who was walking alone, as I am, and then they started assaulting him. So I asked him, where is the justice in this? Why are you just chasing innocent people? They took one of my friends, who I know, he was indoors with me the whole time, and they just they just got in because it looks suspicious. I don't know, they just took him. They want to kill every black man that they see, or arrest every black man that they see because they are fought or they are dangerous to the white people. They can do as they please. If they have to arrest us, if they have to kill us, I will die. I will die for education.